Einstein believed that quantum theory was correct but not complete. He believed in a hidden variable that would give quantum mechanics an objective reality that would fit in with the reality of our everyday life. Einstein worked until the end of his life to find an independent objective reality to quantum mechanics. Most other scientists believed that no reasonable definition of reality could be expected to permit the paradoxes of quantum mechanics. In Einstein's universe, position and momentum at the quantum level would be explained in just the same way as it is for an object of our everyday life within an objective reality that would make physical sense. Einstein said, Well, we have thus shown that the wave function does not provide a complete description of the physical reality. We left open the question of whether or not such a description exists. We believe, however, that such a theory is possible. Quantum atom theory is such a theory and explains the hidden variable by giving us a deeper understanding of time as a continuous process continuously forming the geometry of space-time. In relativity Einstein explained that the position of an object in space curves it forming the curvature or geometry of space-time. If the object moves around then the curvature of space-time will change as well. This theory explains the process of how objects form their own rate of time, forming the arrow of time and geometry of space-time. Quantum atom theory is based on two simple ideas. The first is that the wave equation does not just predict what the wave function will be in the future, but that this process represents the forward passage of time itself, photon by photon, or moment by moment. The second idea is that Heisenberg's uncertainty principle is the same uncertainty that we have with any future event. From these two simple ideas, quantum mechanics can be explained in a way that exactly fits in with our everyday experience of nature and time, moving from a known past into an uncertain future. We live in a dynamically evolving universe of continuous change because of the probabilistic nature of the wave-particle duality of light. Only if light waves come in contact with an object will they form new photons of quantized energy that will have a unique position in space and time. In this theory it is the inward absorption and outward emission of electromagnetic waves that continuously form the arrow of time and the geometry of space-time. The forward momentum of light is continuously creating a blank canvas for the observer that she or he can participate in. The atoms of the observer bond together and then collapse the wave function in unison, forming their own unique future position or reference frame in space and time. It is because the observer can choose when and where to collapse the wave function that we have free will. Life will create its own ripples in the fabric of space-time, forming its own broken symmetry of its own evolutionary path or timeline. It is because this process is at the same rate that light moves, that the speed of light between the atoms will always be a universal constant, independent of the motion of the source. This can also explain why light is so beautiful when it strikes an object. It is because we are looking at a moment of pure creation of time and space. In this theory there is no universal time, because the universe is made up of, of an infinite number of reference frames that have their own proper time relative to their momentum and position. Therefore we are all in a unique position at the centre of our own reference frame and can look back in time in all directions at the beauty of the stars. When we look down into the atoms we can see time dependent quantum mechanics when the atoms bond together forming their own beauty of their own symmetry and geometry. But when we zoom in on an individual atom, we find time-independent quantum mechanics, and there is no flow or arrow of time, and all we have is the measurement problem. Each new photon can be measured either as a point in space over a period of time, or as an area of space at a moment in time, but not as both. This is because the observer is always in the moment of now, 
collapsing the waves of light into new photons of energy that will only be relative to the wavelength of the light and the position and momentum of the observer. In this theory, at the quantum level of the atoms, the moment of now is created by a single photon-electron coupling, creating a wave function of future possibilities. Even the individual atoms of the observer are radiating electromagnetic radiation continuously. The observer will fill this as the continuous flow of time and as the aging process. On the level of everyday objects, the observer will see an infinite number of photon-electron couplings, creating a temporary image, moment by moment, or photon by photon.